Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, I am a full-time reseller. Today I have another Goodwill Bins haul for you guys. So I spent about four hours at the bins yesterday. Today is Wednesday, June 25th, 26th? I don't know, but when this video comes out, it's actually the day of my in-person market. You guys, I'm getting so excited. It is only three days away as I'm filming this. I'm so excited. Actually, after I'm done filming this, I'm going to be spending some time in my storage unit, finishing tagging up my items, but I am so excited, you guys, and I can't wait to tell you guys how it goes. But anyways, I spent about four hours at the Goodwill bins yesterday, and I cannot remember my cost of goods. It was a little bit more yesterday. I had like a full car. I think it was a dollar and 27 cents. Still really, really good. Cannot beat it. So let's just jump right into it. We have two accessory pieces. This first one is a New York Yankees hat, all over print, definitely older. It is a fitted style, size seven and a half. That'll be listing around $24. And then we have this crochet purse. Actually, I did not find this yesterday. I found this last week. I was originally going to take this to market, but I don't actually think it's vintage. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just list it online. I love selling crochet purses like this, but this is what the brand looks like. Definitely looks kind of newer to me. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and list it online. I'll be listing that around $25. Now this piece, you guys, has to be my favorite piece of the entire trip yesterday. And let me show it to you look at this you guys if you follow me on instagram you may have seen this i do show some things on my stories on my story as i'm at the goodwill bins and i had to show this piece because it is gorgeous so this is definitely genuine suede i'm assuming it is vintage but look at the butterflies oh my gosh i can't get over it this is a heavier piece but there is no brand tag no size tag i don't know if you guys can tell but this is like a poncho Total Western vibes, boho, hippie, all the things. I absolutely love this. The inside lining is super silky. But when I posted this on my Instagram story, actually a viewer messaged me and was like, hey, I'm super interested in that. Can you please send me photos and measurements? So that is what I did this morning when I took photos of this. And she may be buying that from me this afternoon before I even get it listed. So by the time I'm editing this video, I will know for sure. But I told her that I can give it to her for $75 shipped, which means I pay for shipping. And if she doesn't end up scooping this up for me, I'm going to list this around $100 online i was so excited about this piece super unique one of a kind when i did a google image search of this i found pieces kind of similar to this but none with butterflies the butterflies i feel like just make it and it is just a gorgeous piece katie i don't think she watches my youtube channel but if she does scoop this up and if you happen to be watching this thank you so much i am so happy if this does go to you to see it going to a viewer that is such a unique gorgeous piece and I was just really excited about that this piece I found a lot of vintage pieces yesterday you guys so many vintage pieces this is Quacker Factory older size 3x it's a mini skirt but at the trim there are cherries <laughs> embroidered cherries oh my gosh the fruit print has been all the rage people love cherries as well this will be listing around $25 this I wish I would have found a little sooner but you know, total 4th of July vibes. I'm going to actually list this ASAP, like as soon as I get off of here. Maybe I should take this to market even because that's in a couple days. But Quacker Factory, size small, little American flag, knit sweater, embroidered. I love this. Total Americana, patriotic July 4th vibes. This is an Adidas jacket. Now, most Adidas I'll just leave behind, but this is a soccer jacket. And this is actually an older piece. And when I did a Google image search of this, I realized, you know, there's not, or not a Google image search. When I did comps on eBay, there's not really many listed for soccer. The N, what does it say? NSCAA, which is the National Soccer something something I'm not sure honestly but there's not many jackets listed like this and the ones that have sold are selling for like 35 to 40 dollars I was really impressed that I'll be listing right around like 38 dollars I believe this piece is a total like y2k fairy core whimsy goth piece floral mesh and you guys this I've never seen this before Taria Taria by Rue 21 
such an old piece. I didn't even know Rue 21 was around back then. This is made in the USA, size medium, nylon, super stretchy. Like I said, Whimsigoth is the perfect keyword. And I actually don't think I put that in my title. I need to go back and definitely do that when I list this, but I'll be listing that around $25. This piece is so freaking cute. I could not leave it behind. And actually I found another grandma sweater this day, yesterday, but I left it behind. This says wild about my grandkids. Oh my goodness, kind of Terry material, knit collar there, leopard print. I thought this was so cute. The brand is Bondworth size medium this i'll be listing around 25 dollars now you guys this it is so funny because in one of the last hauls that i posted for you guys it would have been i think two hauls ago but the day that i was at the bins yesterday that haul went live and i found a shirt exactly like this at the bins that day and i showed it to you guys well while i was at the bins during a little downtime i looked at my youtube comments and somebody trisha i believe it was commented and said oh my gosh i love that patchwork shirt actually you know what i was outside at the time i was outside getting some fresh air i do that from time to time when i'm at the bins i just need some fresh air especially because my allergies tend to act up in there so while i was outside i was looking at my phone looking at youtube comments and trisha mentioned about a patchwork shirt and I'm like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it too, or something like that. Well, when I went back in the next round, I literally found another one. And I was like, that's crazy. It is not exactly the same as the, the last one I found, but it is a size large, just like the last one. And it is the same vibe. Like it is just wild that I found this right after I read a comment about my patchwork shirt. But this one has actually tie sleeves there, which I really like. The other shirt did not have that. But this I will be listing around $28. This, again, a little vintage crew sweatshirt by Morning Sun. I love selling this brand. Little doggy print. It says guard dogs on duty. Definitely older. Going to be listing that around $25, $28. This is an Athleta Tankini Top Swim Top. I love selling Athleta swim tops, especially in bigger sizes, which this is a 38D slash double D. This is wired, but it doesn't have any padding. I'm not sure if it did. It probably did it once, but tankini tops can go for like $20 to $25 by this brand alone without the bottoms, which is wild. And I'll be listing it right around $25. This, a little vintage midi skirt. I love selling midi skirts. Floral, size large, but yeah, this I'll be listing around $28. This piece, so freaking cute. Vintage polo, look at this elephant print. The brand is Teddy, women's size large. You guys, there are so many pieces that I want to take to market. Like for instance, this, I would totally take to market, but I, I'm taking three racks. I was originally going to take two racks and a table. I don't know if this is, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video yet, but I changed my mind and now I'm going to be taking three racks, but they are pretty much awful. One of them is a men's rack. I don't really have a ton of men's stuff, but one of them is men's and has a few kids pieces. And then the other two racks are women's racks and they're pretty much awful, but I just keep thinking and finding more pieces that I want to bring. It's so funny, but I'm also going to be bringing a basket, a big basket. That's going to be $10 t-shirts. I'm going to be bringing a little tiered stand that I have in my storage unit, really small, um, that I think I'm going to be putting, I need to really figure it out because I need somewhere to put my baby items and my scarves. So I'm unsure, but I am going to bring that tiered rack. I think I'll put some baby items and maybe some scarves on that thing. It has three little shelves on it, kind of like this big, not huge, but all that to say, there are so many pieces that I would bring to market like this, like I said, but I just don't have any more room for anything else, but we will see how this first one goes. And I have a second market coming up so I can add all of these pieces to my second market. Anyways, this next piece is a hundred percent silk faux wrap skirt, which is why I picked it up. Really didn't pick it up because of the brand, but that is what the brand looks like Nygaard Collection 14 Petite Faux Wrap. There's a button there and a button on the inside. Total vacation vibes in my opinion. We'll be listing that around $25. This is not really the right time of year, but I went ahead and listed it because it's so freaking cute. Look at it. Little vintage 
crew sweatshirt, actually like a mock neck, has that double collar feature, squirrel with a pumpkin. I love this kind of speckled green look. I don't know if it's even speckled, but I love that look. This, I'll be listing around $25. That is a size medium, by the way. This, another sweater, you guys, but I could not leave it behind. Oh my goodness. So freaking cute. I recently found one almost identical to this, actually. Same colors and everything. This is a turtleneck though. This does not have a brand or size tag on it, but that'll be listing around $28. Now this is a big throw blanket. Again, not really the time of year for it. This is a Christmas blanket, but look at this, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand up. It's a wonderful life. This is an excellent condition. Vintage from 1994 believe it says it right over there yes and this is by the brand Goodwin Weavers which is a really good company like the comps are really good they have a lot of like tapestry throw blankets like this now when I did a comp I did not see any sold but one I saw listed I saw one listed for a hundred dollars so I'm gonna be listing mine I believe around 50 or maybe 70 dollars since there's none actually sold but again this is an excellent excellent condition I mean you can look at it and just see very little to nowhere on that especially from being from 1994 that's only one year younger than me that's crazy I definitely have more wear than this blanket <laughs> that's funny but yeah, I love finding throw blankets and selling throw blankets like that. They do so well for me. This brand, now I showed this in a haul recently and said, like, I rarely find this brand. And you guys, I found it again. 5'11 Tactical, men's size 38 by 32, little cargo pant. Actually, funny enough, my other two pants that I showed in that haul sold. Both to the same buyer on eBay. They sent me a $20 offer on both. I went ahead and accepted since they had to pay shipping and yeah it sold within under a week so i was really happy to find this when i did this is a bigger size cargo pants navy those i'll be listing i believe around 28 dollars this total little y2k vibe crazy horse by liz claiborne didn't pick it up because of the brand picked it up because of the style denim shirt button up i love the short sleeve kind of utility look size medium i feel like this is gonna go pretty fast and that'll be listing around 25 dollars this again a style based pickup i'm assuming this is kind of just like a boutique -y brand the brand is hope spring springs size extra large though which is a good size little floral gauze shirt dress i love this embroidered i love the gauzy material as well this is lined size extra large like i said great size that'll be listing around 25 dollars. now you guys this piece i found two well i didn't find two i found one vintage from the 90s velvet dress a viewer of mine found another one and decided that she didn't want it and she gave this one to me. So I came home with two vintage from the 90s velvet dresses. I am in love. Okay, so this first one is by Rampage. Made in the USA. Total 90s. This is beautiful. Total kind of romantic goth vibes in my opinion with the red and the black. Scallop edge kind of has an off the shoulder with this other kind of stretchy strap. And these straps, like the elastic, it doesn't feel like it was ever worn. Like it feels brand new. So, so stretchy. You guys, I am obsessed with this. I don't know why. I just freaking adore it. I love the scallop edging. Same with the trim there, the hemline, scallop edge. And, you know, velvet pieces by this brand go all over the place. I definitely am going to use lots of keywords, which is going to help sell this, I think. This is a size 11, going to include measurements, of course, but I'm going to list this around $50. I am obsessed with that piece. Now, let me show you the second velvet piece that I came home with this again from the 90s you guys this color is gorgeous this kind of emerald green color i'm obsessed with this so this one is by ole cassini super old tag size uh, eight and this is what this one looks like kind of like little puff sleeves has padding at the breast there 
maxi length oh my gosh you guys i love this emerald green color so so pretty and then let me show you the back look at that bow oh my gosh it is so freaking cute now again with this piece i'll be listing that around 50 dollars so we have had we have actually quite a few higher dollar pieces this day you know two pieces from this haul is going to cover the cost of my entire haul i only paid like 90 something dollars yesterday for all of these pieces plus some like i'm not showing you everything that i got yesterday so very impressed i usually don't find too too many high dollar items but yesterday was just the thrift gods were really there with me and treating me well this piece is an abercrombie and fitch new tag size large little cardigan now the bottom button is missing unfortunately but this is super soft ribbed larger size which i really liked i'm gonna use the keyword coquette coquette i don't know how to say it in my title that i will be listing around 28 dollars this another sweater could not leave it behind this is an older dockers piece men size extra large total grandpa vibes 3d knit this is actually like chenille super soft but crosby vibes coogie vibes y2k hipster again so many keywords i can use for this 90s that'll be listing around 32 dollars hi meow meow mr jasper came in the room this piece is a vintage little slip skirt y2k era the brand is just connected size medium that'll be listing around 25 dollars this somebody actually gave me as well this is a little midi denim dress which i love selling pieces like this they usually sell for like 25 to 32 dollars for me depending but this is a size small definitely could fit like a medium large as well that i'll be listing around 32 dollars this piece you guys i mean 90 percent of this haul was vintage i absolutely love it this piece i thought was a dress when i was at the bins and then i realized when i got home yesterday and was starting my drafts i was like wait a minute this is a romper i feel like that happens all the time to me but this is vintage from the 90s look at this you guys i wish this was like one size bigger because i did try it on it fits me but it's so skin tight like i would not feel comfortable wearing it but um it is a size large is what the size tag says definitely more like a medium i could fit some mediums i not could not fit this but i love the flowy legs here i love how the straps are like they're thicker super cute little pearl buttons and i was going to say something else and <sighs> totally slipped my mind but this is what the brand looks like i don't even know if i showed you that this i'll be listing around 28 dollars this another vintage dress coconut cafe size small little hawaiian mini dress total vacation vibes lightweight tie back that i'll be listing around 28 dollars and again last but not least another dress here i absolutely love this you guys look at the trim of this <laughs> makes me want the beach that much more oh my gosh i love it midi dress the brand on this is gjc women's size double xl tie back again total vacation vibes cruise wear i freaking love this and this i'll be listing i believe around 32 dollars as well Whew, wow you guys I feel like that was like one long run on sentence right there but i found so many unique pieces yesterday you guys it made me so excited and i'm really excited to get these pieces list pieces listed by the time this video goes live all of these pieces will be listed in my stores which are always linked down below if you're ever curious but i appreciate you guys so much especially if you made it to the end i hope you're having a great day and i will see you in my next video